In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a barbershop banner in 5 minutes and it's coming up. What is going on? My name is Dennis. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing because I help graphic designers find success in their career. I'll be using Corel Draw X7 to make this design. Without any further ado, let's begin. So these are the resources I'll be using for this design. I'll be using all these resources, these pictures and these icons. And let's move straight to Corel Draw. And the first thing I'm going to do is to set the size I'm going to use for this banner. And um, I'm going to change my unit, my measurement unit to feet. Because banner is always printed with feet. So I'm going to set the size my client wants for this banner first. After that, I can reduce it to any size I want. So the size of the banner will be 5 by 3. 5 by 3 feet and you can imagine how big the banner will look like but if I design with feet on my system my system may begin to be very slow I'm going to create a shape by double clicking on the rectangle tool like this then I'm going to change my size to A3 landscape then I'm going to reduce this shape by pressing shift on my keyboard and reducing it this way by so doing i've been able to reduce that size to a3 so i can design on my system without my corel draw being slow so one thing you should know is that when this banner is going to be printed we can easily adjust the size to 5 by 3 without distorting the design so let's begin the next thing i'm going to do is to create something like this okay let me press ctrl z and start again i'm going to hold here and drag upwards then right click on my mouse before i leave to get this and i'm going to change my color to to blue purple here my client loves purple color so he decided i should use people let me know down in the comments what color you would have used for this design apart from purple okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is to make this purple darker a little if you click on the blue purple and gold click and hold you will see other colors that are in the same family of this blue purple and you see a darker purple here so i'm going to click on the purple to get this and i'm going to create a few here gradient few like this and i'm going to change this to magenta to get this uh, few color here so i'm going to adjust it this way till i get this i remember all these shapes we are creating here as outlines so i want to take off those outlines i don't really love those outlines so before then i'm going to give my design a guideline so i can see where my design ends by using the ruler to do this okay i'm going to take off the outline right click here to take off the outline okay um once you are done the next thing we are going to do is to type in this okay and i'm going to break this like this and increase this a little and press ctrl k to break the text apart and i'm going to change the fabulous to i think i should use tw cent okay and i'm going to use this okay And I'm going to do something like this. Take it up here. Increase this a little. Okay. You can change this to white color. Click here and change it to white. Okay. 
then I'm going to do something creative here. Yeah. Space here yeah. and press control K to break the F A B U from the L O U S. And I'm going to create something like this. Centralize it, select it with the shape and centralize. Take it closer to the Okay, press Ctrl Q to curve the shape and click on this node here, this point here. Press Shift and drag to this direction. Why do you press Shift so you, you can be on a straight line like this? If I leave this, you will go off the line. So let me press Ctrl Z while I do like this on a straight line. Okay, and I'll also adjust these other points click on this point and press shift while you adjust it like this okay i'm going to convert this to white right click here to take off the outline on the shape and i'm going to select on the you can simply select like this so you can select on the text and press ctrl q to curve the text and press ctrl page up to bring the text forward and I'm going to use this text to trim the shape by selecting the shape with the text. That is, I'm going to press shift on my keyboard and click on the shape. Then you see these options here where you will see trim and I'm going to click on trim. Then I have succeeded to trim the shape and this is what I've got. I'll delete this text out and this is what I've got. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to create another field here and I'm going to give this um, magenta color. Oh, sorry. Click here and create another field here. Give this magenta and here will be deep yellow select the deep yellow remember we have two yellow one of the yellow is deep yellow i'm going to select that and this is what i've got and the next thing i'm going to do is to put this under here and i'm going to give it this same font tw sent okay I'm going to give it this color. Okay, I think I should change this to another font, which is I'm going to use the Homer to make it bold. Okay, under here. Okay, I'm going to reduce this, and this is what I'm going to do here. Use your pen to to create this custom shape like this I'm using my pen to to create this custom shape and in this shape I'm going to copy this color of this FABU by clicking on FABU text and right click and drag to where your shape is where you can see your shape and leave it once you leave you see these options and you click on copy fill here and once you press copy fill here this is what you get automatically you've been able to copy the fill color of the text to the shape and i'm going to right click here to take off the outline of the shape then press ctrl page down to send it behind the barbershop while i adjust this barbershop click to get this round curves then adjust it this way so it fits the shape okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to adjust this feel so it won't contrast with my test too much okay i think this is okay all right i'm going to select everything now and resize it till it's large enough and bold enough because this is a center of focus like this is our focal point 
for this design okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to add shadows to this i'm going to select this and the text i'm going to select this shape also so i can add shadows <coughs> i'm going to select this and this and i'm going to add shadows to it this way remember the shadows are done by clicking the shadow tool here drop shadow tool yeah and i'm going to adjust my shadows this way increase the transparency and reduce the faders to get this here and i'm going to copy this same shadow and give it to this shape so i'll click on this shape and you see this option here that says copy shadow properties and once you click there you get this arrow click on the first shadow we have created automatically it moves to the shape so the next thing i'm going to do is to create this using my polygon to increase this to six while i create this remember when creating the shape press control while dragging it so you get an accurate size of the shape and arrange it this way duplicate this and duplicate again okay copy and duplicate another better way of doing this is by copying your shape by right clicking on the shape and dragging it to the position you want to keep it and once you leave get these options and you click on copy here automatically it comes here so if you do not want to duplicate it by right clicking dragging and duplicating it you can use this option let me start again so you understand what i'm trying to say okay um when dragging this press control on your keyboard so the shape will be on a straight line so i'm going to do like this and so i'm going to do like this right click on the shape press control and drag it to the right hand side and once you are okay with this position you leave it and click on copy here automatically it comes to this direction do the same thing to do the same thing to this again copy here and this is what you get do the same thing again copy here do it again press control while moving it so you can get a straight line okay and this is what we have got you can resize it and place it very well Now select all this shape and change the outline to change the outline to four points. And once this is done, we are beginning to get the outlook of our design. And I'm going to create something like this using your pen to to create these lines. Press Shift while doing this. Click here, convert this to three points. Duplicate this and duplicate this line again. A simple way to duplicate objects in Corel Draw is by pressing Ctrl D. When you select the object you want to duplicate, press Ctrl D to duplicate the object. That's a very simple way. And another way of duplicating objects is by clicking on the object, right click and take the object to another direction and copy here. That's another way. Or you click on the object, click and drag and right click before you leave the object to duplicate the object. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to copy this here. 
mirror horizontally so I can fit it in here. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here by creating this. Okay, and I'm going to duplicate again. Okay, once this is done, you can change the colors of this outline I've made here to magenta. Changing this outline color, you simply right click on the color you want. When you right click on any color, you change the outline of the object you selected. And I'm going to select these two shapes and change the outline also. And this is fine. The next thing I'm going to do is to create a shape down uh, design. Whoa. We crossed the boundary. So I'm going to reduce this we created here to this. So we won't cross the boundary of our design. Remember where the guideline stops, that's where our design stops. I'm going to press Ctrl page up to bring our shape upwards. So this is it. And the next thing I'm going to do is to import our pictures to Corel Draw. I'm going to go straight to where our pictures are located and select all and bring it to Corel Draw. Okay. And I'm going to place the pictures one after the other inside the shapes we have created. Okay. Right click on the picture and bring it to the shape. Once you are on the shape, you leave and you see this option power clip inside. And the picture automatically goes inside the shape. So I'm going to adjust this picture by pressing alternate on your keyboard and click on the picture to select the picture inside the power clip then adjust it this way remember when adjusting a picture size you don't drag from here here or here or here you drag from the corners of the picture that's just what I did here. Okay, once you're happy with that, you can click and that is done. Import the next picture and power clip inside. We are really concerned about their haircut. That is why I'm focusing on them. Okay, this is done. I'm going to copy this fill color here, this color here to fill this shape because this picture was not complete to cover up this space. I'm going to use my color eyedropper tool to select this color and fill the shape and that is done you need to pick the next picture and i'm going to do the same thing to fill this okay we are progressing and I'm going to do the same here. Another way of power clipping pictures inside a shape is this. Click on the shape, right click, power clip inside and select the object you want to power clip. I'm going to select this. just have to try okay um 
okay um let me do like this and clip inside okay this is done so that's another way of power clipping a picture inside a shape okay once this is done we still have one picture left i'm going to place it here oh i'm going to press control click on your shape to open the power clip while well, i use my transparency tool to transparent here once you are okay press ctrl and click outside your design so you have this and i'm going to select my picture again by pressing alternate and clicking on the picture so i can give it another form by clicking on overlay and we get something like this okay you can see this side is too shouty so i'm going to click here and click on this color so it can feel that place i'm going to adjust my transparency again okay i think this is done so the next thing i'm going to do is to import my icons them so I can place them accordingly this first this and this okay and I'm going to trace this because these icons are all JPEG so I'm going to trace this so I can change the color and I'm going to put a link on the video description where you can download these resources and use it for your own design click here and click on outline trace line art okay and this is done okay and you can change this to this now I've been able to trace that and I can change the colors. I'm going to select all and reduce this. Okay, and I'm going to type this, get in touch. Change this to Tahoma. Okay. And I'm going to change this color to magenta. And now I'm going to type in the informations. All right, here. And the next one is the WhatsApp, which is going to be this. Okay. And the next is the Instagram handle, which is okay. And the next is the location, which is. Okay, and I'm going to use my shape tool to adjust this. Okay, I think this is okay. So I'm going to reduce my icons to fit the positions of the text. 
once this is done select everything and enlarge it this way so it can be um, legible enough okay we are almost done with our design the last thing i'm going to fix here is this Okay. and I'm going to change this to white and I'm going to change the font to Tahoma to make it bold reduce this so this is the final look of our banner we are done with the design thank you so much for watching this video I will leave a link where you can get resources to produce your own design. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time.